Hi, this is Crutchy, and this is my Finding Nemo Vinylmation poster. And my first Vinylmation is my 9-inch Squid Vinylmation. And you can see in the eyes, I paid attention to shading, so it looked like light was coming through the eyes. Then I did coral in the background, so it should be on the coral reef. And I put the ocean in the background. The next Vinylmation I did is my 3-inch Nemo, and I paid attention to shading in the eyes as well. And all you can see are the lines that I put on because it's a minimalist. My next is my 9-inch Dory, and the whole thing I put just keep swimming because that's one of the quotes she says in the movie. I made her smile. So she looks happy and I paid attention to the lighting in her eyes and she kind of looks crazy because she is crazy. Um, you can't, since it's a 2D drawing, I put a lot of the side of her body where it would be normally. I put it like in the front so you, you could still see the patterns um, that she normally has. My next is my three inch turtle. You can see the spots that I did on the top that he normally has and I shaded them downwards throughout his body and on his belly I did it like that so you could tell that he has a shell on the other side of his back and I did his mouth that he normally does where it's kind of just looking not happy or excited and I did my next final mission which is my 9 inch of Darla and Nemo and it has the fish body of Nemo and it has the braces and the eyes and the hair of Darla. And I did each little bracket and I gave her headgear and in the eyes I did different shades of green to make it look like a more human eye. And in the hair I put in different highlights so it looked like it was more natural and not just bright red hair. And I did the divots where the fish would normally have them on his tail and his fins and the whole body looks like Nemo. My next is my three inch peach vinylmation and that's the starfish that's in the tank in Finding Nemo. I did half of her and you could half of him and you can see that she's hanging on the side of the tank. The background's a different color than the rest of them and I have some seaweed in the background because they have seaweed in the tank. And my next one is my one and a half inch, and it's the seagull from Finding Nemo. And I did the regular body, and then the, I did the gray f wings, but they're just hands since it's a vinylmation. And I did the beak at an angle so you could tell what it was. This is my Finding Nemo Vinylmation box, and on my first side, I have the seagulls, and I did different colors on each of them to add a pop of color. Then in the background, you can see that I did it, the ocean, and I blended the two colors together to make it look more realistic. My next one, I did the Darla and Nemo uh, cosplay, and you can see in the hair, I blended that, the eyes, I did the same thing with the multiple colors and I put the braces on and with the headgear. You can see in the eyes that I made the light look like it was shining through and in the hair, the highlights of red and the highlights of blonde or orangish color. And the next one, you can see that I did the turtle or squirt from Finding Nemo and the background is all one color and the spots come down shaded and the eyes, ha he has light in his eyes so you can, he looks more childish. I blended the two colors on the shell that way it looked more natural and less weird and on the side I put like greens and browns to look at the wear and tear of the shell and on the flippers or like his feet you could see I did the uh, spots. My next one it's a different color because peach would have been in the tank and not the ocean and I put her and 
the or put him in the side view right there and you can see his face and you can see the seaweed in the background and you can see that she's also in the tank from the vinylation itself and the background's a different color like I said. This is my Finding Nemo Vinylmation unboxing and the first item that I'm going to take out is my Peach Clay Vinylmation. There's texture where she would normally have her little, have his little suction cups to hold on to the tank and in the background you can see that there's water obviously because the starfish is in the tank and there's texture where the seaweed would be. Um, I did shading with the seaweed. Certain parts are darker, and in the mouth it's darker, so you can tell where it starts and ends. And there's my next vinylmation, which is my Darla Nemo Cosplay Plush, and I have the divots where the feet or the fins would be, and I did different shading and coloring in the eye to make it look more realistic. And the next thing that I did was the shading in the hair. Most of it's the same color, but there are little tints of shading, so it looks more natural. I did the part of the girl's hair in the back, so you could tell like where her hair parted since it's in pigtails. And I did the divots and the stripes on the Vinylmation's back. My next is my seagull and it's my plaster vinylmation. I did the nose side, or the beak sideways so you could tell what it was. I did the ears a different color from my other vinylmation. I did that because I don't think it would look as normal since it didn't have the blue background. I did the wings the same color so it looked more normal. This is my Misfit Toy Vinylmation Plaster, which pretty much has nothing to do with anything, but I added brighter colors to make it seem like a toy, but then I made it look like it was dead, <laughs> basically, with I have the scratches and its eyes are crossed out, so it looks cute, but at the same time you tell, can tell it's a Misfit Toy. The next thing I did was my Nightmare Before Christmas custom Vinylmation box. And the first side says the Nightmare Before Christmas and, and it's in the font that they use for the title of the movie. I did kind of like an ombre effect and I did the dog in the right hand corner. And since there's so many light colors, I did a darker background on it since it like contrasts that way you can see the lettering and the dog better the next side i did the famous pumpkin patch that jack skellington would be on top of the hill looking over it and i drew the little pumpkins and i drew the fence line across the pumpkin patch and i put shades of blue so you could tell where it was flat and where it was elevated on the hill in the moon itself, I did a little bit of shading where it's darker on in the out inside and then lighter on the outside. The next side, I did just regular stripes. His suit is striped black and white, so I wanted to add that. Inside the custom vinylmation box, I did the circle of trees and I did the Christmas background one. And for my actual custom vinylmation, I did Jack Skellington, I did the regular facial details, and I added his bat with a suit. I didn't put the stripes on his suit because I wanted to keep it a little bit simple. On the top, I added a scar that wouldn't normally be there, but I thought it kind of worked since he is a skeleton. And on one of his ears, I put the snowflake because that's an important part of the movie. I added the cape to my Vinylmations because he has like a trench coat almost, so I thought that would be the perfect way to show that on the back of the Vinylmation. And on the sides, for his hands, I did them regular white since he is a skeleton and he would have white bones 